you can come by and support my streams tomorrow with tips, please, please, even if you don't like the games I'm playing, if you could just come by and support and give me some peace of mind so I don't have to worry about everything this week, you know, just tired of it. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with... Help! Somebody stole the wheel off my car! Now, that's the story he's going with. Let's watch. She gets out of work, and it's not even... Like, she wasn't even getting out yet. She was on break. So she went to the car. The fucking car is on a jack. Someone stole our tire off the fucking car in the parking lot. First of all, they stole just the tire and they left the jack behind. Congratulations, you broke even. The cost of the jack versus the cost of what you can, might be able to sell the tire for. You can wash each other out. Of course, they could have just stolen the jack from someone else, so maybe they aren't out money. Anyways. This is how bad the crime has gotten out here in the Seattle area. Someone just stole our fucking tire off of our car while it was parked in a parking lot. Second, she works at the mall. Thanks for proving that, DSP. So you're saying, at a busy-ass mall, someone was able to jack up your car, take the tire off, and get away without anyone noticing. No one noticed. Now, have you called the cops, DSP? Ah, uh, anyways. Let's continue. I can't drive on three tires, and I don't want to drive on the spare more than just, you know, a minor thing, you know. You're not supposed to drive on the highway with a spare. You're not supposed to go over 50 or something like that. But he doesn't go over 50. He doesn't go that far or that fast. So the fuck does he care? Guys, the place that's two miles away from me I might, might hit a top speed of 40 miles an hour. I can't do that on a spare, guys. No, you can't change your tire. You can't put a spare on. This guy struggles to carry a jug of milk. He considers a jug of milk a workout. So do you really think he's be able to jack up the car and put a spare tire on? Ah, not a chance in hell. Oh, I, you know, this sucks. I have to buy a whole new fucking tire now. And the other thing is when you get a new tire and you're weighing it with other tires, now the alignment's off, right? Now, I can't afford four new fucking tires for this car. No, 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 no. You do not need four new tires. At most, you would need two. If they look at the tire and go, wow, this tire's really worn out. Yeah, best to replace both. You can do that. But again, did they steer, uh, steal just like the rubber part of the tire? Or they actually take the whole thing? Because they took the whole thing, then yeah, that's going to be a little bit more. But, you don't have to buy the extra part of the wheel on one side, for one tire. You don't need to buy four brand new rims, wheels, and tires. You need to buy one new rim slash tire. And then if, well, uh, you gotta have both on the same side, you gotta have them equal, then fine, you just buy the rubber for the other side. Now this is DSP, so they would talk him into buying a $200 bulletproof wheel or something like that, I'm sure. That tire can run over anything. You can shoot it, it won't get a leak. It'll only be $500. Snort, $500? That's the most expensive. That's gotta be better. So my question is, when he cries and begs next time he streams, what's the goal gonna be? 500? 750? 1,000? Well, guys, they had to tow it, and then they had to they, they, they replace the wheel. Then I had to do all four. It was going to be like $1,200, guys. Then again, you don't need to tow it. Just put the spare on, and then drive it to Firestone. We know you like Firestone. Put the spare on. Drive it to Firestone. Don't get it towed. Drive it to Firestone. Get a new wheel. And maybe a new tire on the other side so they match. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to pay for alignment, so what? 30 bucks, depending on what kind you need and where you go and how much they charge. But again, it's DSP, so they'll charge you more because he's an idiot. Anyways. This is an emergency now. I have to buy one tire to replace the stolen one. Like, this is so fucked up. Right?
it's seriously, it's just like, it's just frustration to the point of like, what the fuck? Like, what just happened? I just had a week, week and a half that was amazingly positive. We had great streams, great support. And now, of course, this has to happen to negate that, right? In the past 10 days, you made roughly $8,500 in tips. Roughly $8,500 in tips in the past 10-ish days. But guys, uh, it's all negated because I had to spend it on this. Well, where'd the other... Let's say, let's say they talk me into buying a bunch of new tires and wheels and shit that cost them $1,500. Where's the other $7,000 in tips go? And mind you, on the 21st, he got paid from... Well, actually, the 22nd because the 21st was Sunday. So on the 22nd, he got paid from YouTube. So he has easily $10,000 sitting in his checking account. Oh, wait. No, he doesn't. WWE Champions. Street Fighter Duel. Total Wine. DoorDash. All gone. God, can you imagine blowing through 10 grand in a couple of days? Holy fuck. So now, all that positivity, well, guess what? Now, I, I can't stream for the rest of the of this stream. I'm done. I can't stream anymore. I might not be here tonight, because what I got to do, I got to call my dad to talk about this, because he's a car guy. The fuck do you need your daddy for? Put the spare on, drive to Firestone, get a new wheel. What's your dad going to do? Are you going to have your dad fly out to Seattle to put the spare on? Wouldn't surprise me. Then I gotta probably take an Uber out there to be with my wife because she I don't want to leave her there alone. So I'm probably gonna take an Uber out to the mall to be with her for all this is going on, you know. See, told you. He confirmed that she works at the mall. It's fucked up. And now I don't know if I'll be here tonight for the late stream at all. And I don't know what's gonna happen. Tomorrow's supposed to be my day off, but I have I have no fucking tire for this car. I don't even know if it's safe to drive on a spare for my day off just to do my errands and shit. That's what I mean. I gotta talk to my dad about this. Uh, and all, and figure all this shit out. Now, you get it to Firestone. They should, knock on wood, should be able to give you a brand new tire right then and there. Be done. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. But you know that's not going to happen. He's going to find some way to screw this up. He's going to find some way to be, guys, they won't be able to get a new tire in until Friday. What do I do? Uh, tomorrow's my day off. Well, gee, DSP, if you don't have a car and you can't go anywhere, why take the day off? Why would you take the day off if you don't have a car? What are you doing on your day off if you don't have a car? Guys, I had to Uber to PetSmart. I had to Uber to Costco. I had to Uber to Total Wine. I had to Uber to McDonald's. Or just don't take tomorrow off. Oh, that's the point of this video coming out today don't take today off and instead stream do an emergency wheel stream guys i need to raise fifteen hundred dollars for the new wheel there's no fucking way it costs fifteen hundred dollars you're banned you're just an immature idiot who lives in your mom's basement you, you don't know anything dumbass anyways here's a response on twitter all Go to my car having a Wii stolen off of it while my why was that work? Yes, really. I have to likely cancel tonight's late stream. Keep you informed here of any updates and maybe I will jump on later. Just explain the situation. Thanks for understanding. Now, the streak just ended. Ryan did not come out and tip $150 during the late stream on Monday. The streak is over. You only got $50 on today's stream before this happened. Is this manufactured? Did a Wii really get stolen off his car? Maybe. Maybe not. After, was it yesterday or the day before? Guys, my wife had to come home early because she's sick. Well, can we see your wife or hear her in the background? No! Can't do that. For months, his wife was never mentioned. For months, his wife was just a background character. Now suddenly, she's in the forefront. Huh. Maybe the DSP divorce saga rumors have been getting to him. Maybe hearing everyone talk about, oh, yeah, wife's out, she's divorced, she's left him. Starting to get on his nerves. So I'm like, no, guys, see, I really do have a wife. I'll talk about my wife right now and talk all about the stuff that's happening to her, guys. Well, can we see her? Can we hear her? No! Man. <laughs> uh, 
I just love this. Thank you guys for watching. As always, let me know down below. Do you think the wheel was actually stolen or not stolen? Was this all manufactured? And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.